We're going to take you live to Ottawa, where NDP Non-stop leader Jagmeet Singh is Keep discussing the new Pharmacare bill, you know bill which is expected to be tabled today. Let's listen to his remarks. Get with more New Democrats. Imagine what you would get with a New Democratic government. I just want to put that to Canadians, that we're going to keep on fighting to make sure people get the help they need. I'll do that again in French, and then I'll take your questions. So today is a historic day. I can say with great pride that we will now cover contraceptive medication and medication for diabetics throughout the country and for free, and it will be free for people. This is a historic day because this was a dream of our party since the beginning of our party to have universal medi medication insurance. I'm very proud of the work we've done. I want to salute the work of unions, of militants, of neo-democrats who've always fought for people um, during in a time where large pharmaceutical companies have a lot of power we said no we said we are here for people and i want to say and i have to say that liberals have uh, been promising a program for 30 years and it's not pure luck that today we force them to do it this is based on our efforts in this minority government that we've obtained this for people i also want to say that conservatives have answered and Pierre Poliev have said has said that people are not worth it. It's not worth having access to drugs like for diabetes medication or contraception medication. He said that people aren't worth it. And that's insulting because we disagree with conservatives. We think that people deserve to have the medication that they need. So we'll continue to fight for you and your family. That's what we've obtained with 25 um, MPs. Imagine what we could do with more Neo Democrats. Thank you. To uh, my dear friend representing the CLC, but also our vice president of labor for the party, the New Democratic Party nationally, Siobhan Baipan. Uh, it's uh, such an honor to be here because today is a good day, because today is when we lay the foundation for a universal single-payer pharmacare program for Canadians, and that is a good thing. Um, this has been um, a tough time for our folks. Um, we are in an affordability crisis that is pushing people to make decisions that they should never have to make. A choice between whether they're going to put food on the table, whether they're going to pay their heat bill this month, maybe they're cutting back. They're borrowing money so that they can afford their medications, and that needs to stop. And this is putting us in the right place to make that happen. We are very happy to be standing here at this time. We know that it's taken thousands and thousands of our activists, of workers who have rallied, they have written letters to their MPs, they have met with their MPs to say pharmacare needs to happen. We've been pushing for this for a very long time, and here we are. Because we hear from too many workers about what it means when they don't have access to their medications. And that can change. This isn't how the reality has to be. I had a roommate who, uh, when I was younger, who you know, made decisions around her diabetes of what medications she could afford, not based on what the medical you know, professionals were telling her she to do, and that hasn't changed. It also isn't a unique story to someone young, and things are just getting worse. So now, those choices won't have to be made for Canadians. I also want to mark that this is a good day for gender justice. Because now folks will be able to have access to contraception under their own terms. You're not relying on a family member, maybe your partner, so you're going to get confidentiality when you need to access that. And you're going to take away all of those cost barriers, and that is a really good thing. So we will be continuing to help push this further so that it grows, because this is a good thing for Canadians. I also want to mark that this will get through and it is going to be, you know, the provinces to step up and implement this. And as an Albertan, I have to say I am joining the many voices of unions, of activists and advocates, as well as the Chamber of Commerce of Calgary and Edmonton to ask Danielle Smith to change her decision on this. This is good for Albertans. This is good for Canadians. Mm -hmm. And I want to say we recognize why we are here. We are here because of the work that advocates and unions have been doing for decades. 
but because the NDP listened. And because they're using a minority parliament to make things happen, to make things more affordable for Canadians. So I'm very proud to stand here on this great day and let's make this happen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Can you please explain, um, can you elaborate why you think Quebec should be allowed to opt out of the program, but Alberta cannot? So uh, we have uh, a Sherbrooke Declaration where we made it clear our, our position around Quebec and the unique nature of Quebec. Quebec also has a hybrid program, so it's a little bit different. But uh, our position is people in Quebec should not be getting any less coverage than people anywhere else across the country. We want to see free birth control for everyone in our country, and we're going to ask Quebec to sit down and negotiate. I think it's really uh, it's sad and it's disappointing that that... Uh, Premier Legault said no without even looking at the deal, without even looking at the plan. That, uh, I just want to finish, finish that. I want to say that it's, it's wrong of the, the, prime, the Premier to say no to women who want access to birth control, no to kids and families that are struggling with diabetes that don't have full coverage in Quebec. So ultimately, this is going to be a negotiation with provinces, uh, and we want to see a negotiation where everyone gets the highest quality of care and everyone gets the same care, and I don't want Quebec to get less care. So why is Alberta being treated, why is Alberta being treated differently? Sorry, that doesn't explain why Alberta is, from your view, can't opt out, but Quebec can. You're saying Quebec shouldn't opt out, but you're okay with them opting out. Well, I mean, Can you please explain that? Yeah, we have a Sherbrooke Declaration, in which I, I invite you to take a look at. We've got a list of ideas and values concerning Quebec specifically, which you can feel free to take a look at. But our principle is this. We know this is going to take negotiations and take working with provinces. When I, when I think about people in our country who don't have access to diabetes medication and how much that hurts them, how many people have to spend thousands of dollars out of pocket because they can't afford to take, they have no coverage for the diabetes medication or devices that they need. For people who need birth control and can't afford it, who line up at women's clinics for hours to get contraception or birth control medication. I want to say to people across this country, it does not have to be this way. We have now a program in place, soon to be in place, that's going to make sure it's free. Why wouldn't we ensure that everyone in our country has access to free birth control and free diabetes medication? Well, that's 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 somebody will actually get this medication covered. Is it months? Is it years? And is it all Canadians? Or will it only be low-income Canadians that will have it covered? This is for all Canadians. This is for everyone. It's a universal delivery of these two classes of medication. So it's everyone. Uh, it's going to be as quickly as provinces can negotiate it. This can happen very rapidly. The money and the investments and the commitments are all going to be there put in place uh, as soon as possible. So this is something that can happen very, very quickly for provinces that agree. And I would encourage everyone to take advantage of this opportunity. Everyone in this country deserves access to free birth control and free diabetes medication and devices. Let's make it happen. Do you accept that Quebec and Alberta have um, full compensation? What, are, what is your position on both provinces? My position is for those who live in Alberta and people who live in Quebec, both must have access to the medications that they need. They deserve to have contraceptive medications for free. They deserve to have diabetes medication for free. That is our objective. That is what we want to do. I think it's disappointing that Premier Legault said no and closed the door before sitting down and discuss how it can help people in Quebec because we know that in Quebec there is not perfect coverage. There are situations where people cannot afford to buy medication that they need because the system in Quebec was avant-garde at the time, but it's imperfect and it doesn't work for everybody. So what we're suggesting is to have a way to deliver help for everybody, for free, for contraception and diabetes medication, and we need to do it. I was listening uh, in Ottawa, of course, as a federal NDP leader, Jagmeet Singh, uh, is really singing the praises of his party, suggesting he pushed the Liberals to get to this point in terms of a national pharmacare deal, answering some questions there as well about uh, some of the issues surrounding Quebec not being in, and also Alberta's Premier Daniel Smith saying no.